next question is from IMO 1964, question 5. We are asked to prove cosine pi over 7 minus cosine 2 pi over 7 plus cosine 3 pi over 7 equals to half. This question also becomes a usual training question for Math Olympia. We may let j to be cosine pi over 7 minus cosine 2 pi over 7 plus cosine 3 pi over 7. And note that j can be written in this form. That is equal to a negative of cosine 2 pi over 7 plus cosine 4 pi over 7 plus cosine of 6 pi over 7. Now we will consider 2 sine 2 pi over 7 times j. If so, each of the term here will multiply with 2 sine 2 pi over 7. And that will be negative 2 sine 2 pi over 7 cosine 2 pi over 7 minus 2 sine 2 pi over 7 cosine 4 pi over 7 minus 2 sine 2 pi over 7 and cos 6 pi over 7. For the first one, negative 2 sine theta cosine theta equals to negative sine 2 theta, that is 4 pi over 7. And for this, this should be plus sine 2 pi over 7 minus sine 6 pi over 7. For negative 2 sine cos, it is plus sine 4 pi over 7 minus sine 8 pi over 7. Um, this is so because of the formula. So what we have here right now is these two will be cancelled off. And we're left with sine. 2 pi over 7 minus sine 6 pi over 7 minus sine sine theta is equal to negative sine 2 pi minus theta so negative sine 8 pi over 7 will equal to plus sine 2 pi minus 2 pi over 7 however sine 2 pi minus 8 pi over 7, it is actually equal to sine 6 pi over 7. And these two will cancel off, and we're left with sine 2 pi over 7. So what we have here is 2 sine 2 pi over 7j equals to sine 2 pi over 7. And therefore, j equals to half. So we have proved this statement. Now, let us look at a simple generalization. Okay. So we will focus on writing it as cosine 2 pi over 7, cosine 4 pi over 7, and cosine 6 pi over 7. And the generation is as follow. So based on what we have just now, we know that cosine 2 pi over 7 plus cosine 4 pi over 7 plus cosine 6 pi over 7 equals to negative half. And this also gives us think that what will happen for cosine 2 pi over 5 plus cosine 4 pi over 5. Mm, it is not difficult to prove that this is actually equal to half. And what will be the, the first term with the same pattern? It is actually equal to cosine 2 pi over 3. And it's well known that cosine 2 pi over 3 is actually equal to negative half. So the first generalization is the summation of cosine 2k pi over 2n plus 1 where k run from 1 to n is equal to a negative half. The method of proving this statement is quite similar to what we have done. And the second generalization is a little more interesting. We observe that cosine cubed 2 pi over 7 plus cosine cubed 4 pi over 7 plus cosine cubed 6 pi over 7 also equals to a negative half. 
and cosine power 5 2 pi over 7 cosine power 5 4 pi over 7 cosine power 5 6 pi over 7 equals to negative half again so this give us another a conjecture asking ourselves will this uh, statement true that is the summation of cosine 2k pi over 2m plus 1 to the power of 2m plus 1 where k equals 1 to n where m is in between 0 and n will this still be equal to a negative half and the answer for this is yes I'll show this result in next video Another possible extension for this, for you to try out, um, which is quite simple, that is, what will be the value for cosine square 2 pi over 7, cosine square 4 pi over 7, cosine square 6 pi over 7. What will be this value? I'll put the answer in the description. A lot more other possible extension come from this simple question. We'll talk about it bit by bit in future. That's the end of the lesson. See you again. Bye bye.